don't remember. Nope. Hmm. Whoa, I don't know the area, so. So we are back with another video. This time we are talking about a different film type. It's XR100. I don't know. It gets a lot of hate and I don't know why. I mean, I do know why, but I don't understand it. The first time I shot XR100, I actually loved the results. I'm not going to say I want to continue to shoot as much as Portra. But uh, it's, I don't know, I like it. I think it's good. I think I think the film itself is a good film. I find that a lot of people don't like how saturated it is. Um, it's also very contrasty. There's also some blue in the shadows, at least for my roles that I shot. Not a fan of it, not a fan of that at all. But we went on and shot two rolls of Ektar 100, actually a roll and a half of Ektar 100. Um, Ektar in Overcast. And I'm gonna say Overcast when it was actually a mix of Overcast and Sunny, and then Overcast again, then Golden Hour, you know. So yeah, a little bit of variety mixed in with this one, but um, it, it was Overcast, so. And of course, you can't start off a good roll of film, a good roll of Ektar specifically, without a nice double exposure. One not intentional at all. Um, I, I I hadn't shot my RB in like three weeks or something. So I loaded it up and I just forgot to crank it. You know, I was just starting to shoot and it's really not how you do it. So yeah, first, uh, first two shots were wasted and then we got going and I was pretty okay with the results. fan of this photo i'm so glad it came out the way it came out lately whenever i go shoot neighborhoods and such i want more of those photos that shows homes symbolizes a home or uh you know of life in the area or whatever or in that home but not of the home itself there's nothing at all wrong with shooting homes i absolutely love shooting homes as well but Getting that different feel of the front yard or just the items or the subjects that people own uh, could give you a whole different feel. And with the light, the light wasn't the best at all times during this evening, I guess. But uh, I would say that um, with the light that we did have, even if the light wasn't hitting the subjects, what I was going for, I, I mean, I'm not going to pass up good subjects, even if the lighting is not great. So yeah, uh, we did what we can. And I think some of these came out pretty good, uh, specifically this one. You shut up.
bump the f-stop up baby Five forty six. One roll of XR one hundred down. Second roll of XR one hundred coming right up. The specific area that we were in, we kept coming across these um, type alleyways and they weren't exactly an alleyway like in the city or anything, but it was more like a, a walk, walkable driveway type alley where there was homes lined up on either side of it. So um, we kind of avoided most of these just because they really didn't look that appealing, but we decided to take a walk down one of them and I gotta say, I got the my favorite photographs from the day down this alleyway, uh, specifically with the bus photos. These photos, I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with. Uh, most of them, I'm content with. Some of them, I really like a lot. Um, but mainly the bus photos, or I'm calling it a bus. It's a Volkswagen. What am I saying? No, wait. Actually, it's a Mercedes. A Mercedes bus van. It's definitely a bus. Definitely my favorite photos from this evening. Um, those are great. Yeah, I like those. And they were shot on Ektar. And you know, the saturation on them, I mean, if you want to pull back on the saturation when you shoot Ektar, do your thing, you know? And and I mean, that goes with, you know, the highlights and the shadows as well. I mean, I had to adjust that to my liking. Underrated film, not quite. I wouldn't say it's underrated, but 
uh, I would say to not um, not completely avoid it. If you haven't tried it before, give it a shot. Why not? That is all, and I'll see you guys in the next video.